A particle's position at any time is given by the equation x of t is equal to t cubed minus 12t squared plus 36t minus 15. At what time is the particle at rest? Okay, the key to solving this is to understand that velocity is the derivative of position. And we're given the, the function for the position, so we take the, der the derivative of that, that's the velocity, and it will be at rest when the velocity is zero. So let's find the velocity. V of t will be the derivative of position with respect to time. And that's easy to do. Just apply the power rule to each term here. And this is 3t squared minus 24t plus 36. That's the velocity. And we want to know when that is equal to zero. So set that equal to zero and solve for t. And this is fairly easy to solve for t because it will factor. And I'll start by factoring out a 3. So I'll say 3 times t squared minus 8t plus 12 equals 0. And then this trinomial factors pretty easily. That's a t minus 6 times t minus 2. And you should be able to see that that will equal 0 when t is equal to 6 or when t is equal to 2. So at 2 times which is what we would expect from a quadratic at two times the velocity is zero so that's when the particle is at rest.